Hey my lovely friends, welcome to Creative Art. I am Nalima and in today's tutorial, we are going to decorate and set up this beautiful and elegant mantap ourselves and I am also going to show you how you can decorate your own thali at home. This Ganesha festival, let's go eco-friendly by making or bringing an eco-friendly Ganesha idol at home. This mantap can be reconstructed and then again deconstructed and stored in a safe place so you can use it on every festive season. So friends, do watch the complete tutorial to make it yourself and do subscribe to Creative Art for more Creative Art tutorials and do press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on Creative Art channel. Now let's check out all the materials. To decorate and make this beautiful mantap and MDF thali, first of all, we are going to need the mixed media paste, 2-in-1 gesso and modeling paste, white color from Little Birdie to prime the surface. Next, for colors, we are going to keep it very simple and elegant and for that, we are going to use a tinted metallic paint, gold from Little Birdie and chalk acrylic paint butternut squash this is actually one of my favorite shades to use for decors it is such a bright and beautiful color with the amazing finish just because it is a chalk acrylic paint so this is the one we are going to use and two brushes I'm going to use a flat hair brush number six. You can also use number eight and a round hair brush number six and a palette for pouring primer and colors. Other than that, for decoration, I'm going to use a ceramic cone of white color. You can also use any other cone if you like and few crystals. I'm going to use this beautiful silver shade teardrop crystals, some glue and few pearls for decoration. For base, we are going to use MDF Puja Mantap. This is a beautifully cut out MDF board piece which you have to combine in three steps to make a mantap yourself. It can also be deconstructed and used again and again every festive season. Next, here we have a beautiful design round cut out thali made up of MDF board. Its thickness is about 1.5 cm, so that is quite thick, and this is definitely going to last for a long time. So, these are the two ways which we are going to decorate for this festive season. All these materials will be linked and listed in the description box below from where you can buy them online. And, friends, if you use my code which is NILIMA5, N-I-L-I-M-A-5, you will get an additional 5% off on your entire purchase from www.itsybitsy.in. Now let's start by opening the base. These two are the side pieces. This is the base. This is the base. This is the top. And these two will be the side pieces. Okay, I'll keep it in this way. Let's cut out the manta. And this is how cute it looks. Now, first of all, let's start by priming our base using mixed media paste, two-in-one gesso, and modeling paste. To use this paste, scoop out a little bit in your in your palette or in this cap. Mix it with just a little bit of water, and then it is ready to apply. Can okay, using a flat hair brush? Start applying it on the base. Now in the same way, I'll prime the back side, the inner side of the designs as well as the rest of all the pieces using the same primer. Now finally, after coloring all the pieces of mantap and thali, this is how they look. I have primed each one of them from back, from front and also I have primed the designs. It took some time but finally this is how finished they look. So now friends, let's begin our coloring part for that. I'm going to use a little birdie chalk acrylic paint. This is butternut. This is for the mantap. This one is tinted metallic paint gold. You can clearly see this is metallic gold. These two colors are for the mantap. And for our thali, we're going to use the tinted metallic golden glaze paint from Itsy Bitsy. Now first of all, I'll begin with the thali. 
and using this golden metallic paint I'll start coloring the entire thali as gold. Now I let the first layer of gold let get dry completely and then apply more one or two layers of gold till I find it completely golden bright and shining okay till that let's start coloring the base of the mantap using same golden metallic color. Now let this part get dry and then give one or two more layers of coating so that it may look completely golden. Now for the next three sides of the mantap, I'm going to use a cotton bud. Use this metallic paint in your cotton bud in this way and then color the side designs using the same golden metallic color. So this will easily apply the color on these sides without destroying your brush while priming these sides i already experienced and this is how my brush looks so using a cotton bud would be much more easier way to do this coloring part now in the same way i have completed coloring all the sides and designs of mantap so these are the three pieces one two and three pieces of mantap i have completed coloring golden from the sides also remember to cover these sides of the mantap so now friends let's start coloring the outer side of mantap using this plain golden color Now I will let these two pieces get dry. Now in the same way I have completed coloring all the other pieces of mantap and this thali and this is how beautiful golden and shimmering all these pieces look. So this part you see as gold is just the outer side of mantap and for the inner side of the mantap we are going to use uh, chalk color acrylic paint butternut squash shade from little birdie. So this is how the butternut squash shade look. Using a flat hair brush, start coloring the inside in this way. I just wanted to keep the inner side of the mantap light because the most I want to shine is the god. So I'm going to keep the inner side of mantap light. Now in the same way I have completed coloring all the other pieces of the mantap and this is how smooth and finished it looks. I always feel that the chalk paint is much more smoother and gives your base a much more smoothing effect and it's perfect for decor things. So on the other side of mantap we have gold so this is going to be the outer side and for the inner side we do have this beautiful creamy shade and this will also support and brighten up the entire setup. So now friends after doing the coloring part I would like to just add a very small piece of decoration just teeny tiny my favorite crystals. These are a few drop crystals I bought them from this craft store. I'm going to add them only in few sides. Add a little bit of fabricol or any glue you like then one by one pick up these pieces and place them on the edges gentle press if you want you can add more decorative pieces but this time I'm going to keep it just simple and elegant Now I will let all these pieces get dry completely till that I'll do the same for rest of the sides. 
now this is how all the crystals look when i have placed them it looks so shiny and so beautiful and this is how all the sides inner sides look all the inner sides are cream shade but i have decided to place gold right here with the inner sides so now let's start fixing up all the pieces gently push 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 in all the brackets okay this one is fixed first place the base one then go right here and right here push 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 and fix them all it may take some force to put in all the pieces exactly to the place but finally this is how the mantap or we say the asan looks i absolutely feel it's so cute so elegant and ready so beautiful if you want you can also give one layer of decor varnish to the entire mantap after building it up so nicely so for now let's start preparing the remaining of thali so this is how it looks after priming and coloring it as gold for rest of the decoration i'm thinking to use ceramic cones and do the cone work to highlight this beautiful cut out side of the thali and for borders i'm thinking to use these beautiful shiny crystals now let's start doing the ceramic cone work on this beautiful mdf cut out part so for that using a scissor cut the tip of the ceramic cone according to your need if you want to make a thin line or thin design make a small cut and if you want to make a thick design make a bigger cut so my trick always to do uh, the cone work is to do design part by part so i'll show you how i do it and this helps me in maintaining a proper distance between all the designs first of all just line up you want to do and then fill it up a little more in this way that's it so this is the part i have done i'll keep it i'll move on to the next same part and then do it again Now here is the other piece of the thali and we are going to decorate it using some crystals supply a glue that will stick the crystals on base i'm using a toothpick to pick up the crystals and place it Thank you. 
Okay, now in the same way, I made the other one and this is how both of them look together. Now let the glue get dry completely and let it turn transparent. Now this is how beautiful our thali looks when we have finally completed doing the cone work and it is also dry. I left the cone work for at least 12 hours to get dry completely and finally this is how beautiful it looks. I feel that doing a cone work on this kind of MDF cutouts actually enhances the look of the entire cutout design as well as gives you a depth, a feeling of depth inside these designs and this is something you should definitely do on this kind of cutout designs so now friends i'm going to just enhance the cone work a little bit by using some white fairy dust color i'm going to gently color the top you don't need to even color everything you can simply use a metallic wax and tap 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 on the top in this way this is just to give a shimmering look Now for the sides, I have decided to place few pearls. So I'll place a string of pearl all around this round. As I have done this pearly white color on the cone work, it really looks very beautiful and pearly. So now just place some glue. If you want to do it part by part, you can do it part by part. I'm going to do it half at a time. So without wasting any time, just hold a string of pearl in this way this time i'm using one side flat pearl these are generally the type of pearl used for art and you can directly hold the string in this way place it according to your need just first of all just tap 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 and set the pearls in a line then place the flat side down in this way once you have placed the flat side of the pearl down, just give it a gentle tap so it mixes up or it is placed nicely with the glue. Then in the same way, keep placing the pearls. And then you can pull out the string in this way easily and you already placed this much these many pearls do the same again hold the string of pearls and then gently place it on the line of glue give it gentle tap and then remove the string adjust the next line in this way Now place some more glue and the next string of pearls. Hold the last pearl always. This set is not good. Fill in the missing pieces one by one and if in case there is just a small gap you can adjust the pearls. Then place the next set of pearls. Now after placing the last piece of pearl, this is how the entire pearl ring looks. Let it get dry till the glue placed turns out completely transparent. And then I'm also planning to place a few crystals on these parts. So let's place some glue first. You can use any glue you like. Pick up the crystals one by one and place it. Now in the same way, decorate the rest of the pieces using crystal. And now finally, this is how beautiful, beautiful this two pieces look and it absolutely matches with the thali. Just look at the bright, beautiful but elegant at the same time thali. I just love it. The cone work, the crystals, both. Now friends, let's start decorating the stage. 
and now friends this is how beautiful our mantap and thali looks when we have finally completed decorating it this is how beautiful our thali looks just look at its design wow absolutely love it and the shine and this is how amazing simple and elegant our mantap looks with this crystal work a sober chalk paint and the gold for the festive look we are just waiting for lord ganesha to come home and we will start a celebration all 10 days make the same simple and beautiful reconstructable mantap for yourself which you can use every festive season from Ganesha to Durga Puja to Lakshmi Puja and Swaraswati Puja. The same mantap can be used in all different festives just according to your need. You can deconstruct it and then reconstruct it, store it in a safe place as you want. So friends, do give it a try, make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this tutorial and if you do like my tutorials friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.